that's about typical. That's like normal ramps, I would say, that I would expect. PLL circuit I made a while back, it's a half bridge. I finally got around to uh, getting it running a little better, cleaning up the gate drive and all that stuff. So now I can just, you know, cut it all the way up and run it any type of way. And the uh, MOSFETs don't even get warm. But the thing is, this one's using IRF P460s. This is basically just a uh, CD4046 drive with uh, some dual gate drivers on a basic half bridge and it's using antenna feedback and it seems to run reliably so long as I use a coil that's in a fairly small frequency range of around 400 kilohertz I figured the full bridge coil I have down there is about the same frequency with the same top load I figured you know how would that perform on this circuit it runs like total ass that coil which runs really good on the full bridge right there you know which is very similar to the coil that runs great on the half bridge right there doesn't run well at all on this half bridge circuit the only differences I can really think of are the fact that it's using 460s instead of the IGBTs. Uh, it's got antenna feedback. There's no hex inverter. You know, maybe like the particular capacitors I was using, things like that, um, which I remember were, were pretty all pretty janky because this was a, one of the first setups I built. So while I kind of look at this coil and think it runs all right, if I switch it over back to uh, staccato interrupted arc, play with the phase angle here a little bit. See that setting, I'm branching a lot more as I adjust it back down. Bring it back to the uh, more characteristic sword sparks. 